In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a custom domain to Infinity Free. So I'm going to add my hostinger domain. You can add any domain and the process is the same. So first you need to create an account and log in to Infinity Free. So here you can see I'm inside of Infinity Free here. You then want to go to accounts, then create account. Now from here, you can choose the free hosting plan and you can go ahead and type custom domain or click custom domain. And what you can do is you can enter in your domain name here. Now you will need to create a new account to do this. You can't add a custom domain to an existing website, I do believe, not without the premium version anyway. So we're going to add our domain to this website and create a new one. So I'm gonna to go to Hostinger and then Domains. Again, you can connect any custom domain. Then find a domain, click Manage. And what you wanna do is you wanna go into the back end of your domain settings. And from here, you can go ahead and change the name servers. So first, go ahead and find your domain, copy it, and just simply paste it into the domain name section and then check availability. Once you've done that, go ahead and create your account. You can edit any of these fields here if you want to. Now, before we do that, once you click create account, it's going to ask you to connect your name servers. So go ahead and copy the first name server, which is ns1.infinityfree.com. So make sure you copy all of this here. Once you've got this copied, you can go back into your domain and you want to go to your DNS slash name servers section on your domain name. This is going to be different for a lot of different providers, but you will be able to find it in your backend. Then go to change name servers and change name servers and you need to enter on a custom name server. So paste in the first name server. Then you want to go back and find the second name server, which is going to be NS2. So go ahead and replace any name servers, name server one, name server two, and then click save. Now, once you've done that on your domain, it should update it. It might take up to 24 hours to propagate though. So you do need to be patient. Now you can go ahead and create your account. Now it may not recognize that your domain isn't pointing to their servers. You are going to have to wait for those changes to come into effect. And I've only waited like 10 minutes, but if you've waited, it's then going to create your account with your username and you can go ahead and now open the control panel or click finish. So I'm going to open the control panel and then we'll click finish here. Now you can see that we are setting up your account and it will refresh once it's done. Now here is the control panel. You can see you just want to approve of this and it should then load your control panel. You can get here again by going to control panel or click on the button earlier. From here, you can go ahead and install WordPress. So to do that, you would scroll down to this Softer Coloss app installer. Then from here, once everything's loaded, you'll be able to install WordPress. Now I've made another video showing you how to install WordPress, so I'm not gonna cover that. But if you've connected your domain following these instructions, you've now essentially got everything up and running. You will have to wait up to 48 hours though for your domain changes to go into effect. Just wait for your account to get set up and then you can install WordPress. If you just check look your domain, so if I right click on this and go to my domain, you can see it does redirect to infinity free, everything's loading. You just need to go ahead and be patient and wait for it to set up. That's how to do it. I hope that helped you out.